babe, are you happy in our relationship? Mm, and you know, I was like, mm, if you stop asking, maybe I will. And like, okay, baby, I I, do, you, do you want to divorce? Just let's get divorced. Let's, let, let's be done with it. <laughs> Ciao guys and welcome back to Lampies. Yes, another home recorded video. Yeah, Brand new else? week and we are still at home and we just wanted to come here and really discuss about how some frustration we've been experiencing, especially when we are just at home. Yeah. I gotta tell you, I cannot even count the number of unnecessary arguments we have been having since we just at home and we live like in a 40 square meter apartment just a pot ready to explode now let me just say this to be honest when you're married like of course when you're married it's, you meant to stay and live together but in reality if you go to work you don't really spend that much time together to be honest and now with the quarantine thing it's like yeah now just stay at home look at each other 24 7 and oh you have a pimple there <laughs> yeah things like that but before we start the video just the question of the day would you rather divorce your partner or get pregnant Damn! i don't know because we see that these are these two opposite side of the spectrum like you either broke up or you are i don't know you take the decision to go further with your relationship and start a family yes i mean even if you have a child you might as well just take a chance to have yes. a child because it's I also would... it can also be accidental like, there are two things you have so much time together you either argue or you either have sex make so, up sex yeah i would say we started on the negative and we're eventually moving toward the positive which is good uh, first of all guys we hope that you are fine at home you are safe with your family and everything is going well for you these are difficult times outside there are people that are really suffering and uh, we wish that the situation is going to get better really soon stay at home we're gonna try to put on as many videos as possible to also try to entertain you and yeah and then slow down when we go back to normal to normal life. life. <laughs> the first three weeks, I was going crazy. I was going crazy because, of course, the companies, the, my job was also not ready to just say, the next day, this is home office. So the first two weeks, there was not a whole lot. There was not really like facilities for us to do that. And I was a little bit free and I was like, every few minutes, I was like, babe, are you happy in our relationship? Mm. And you know, I was like, mm, if you stop asking, maybe I will. <laughs> yes, and I was. I remember saying, I was asking you if you're happy, and I was also asking you, do you think, do you think you're in the relationship, in the right relationship, or do you think? My goodness, yes. We 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 have achieved what you wanted to achieve. I don't even know what I was asking. That is a problem for women. If they have too much free time, they start thinking about things that are not even there. No, but it's good to know. Just ask your partner. Where yeah, if you ask one uh, one time, it's fine. If you ask two him, times in a day, the no. Next if day. you ask four times in a day and you say you're getting annoyed, it says it's something like, okay, baby, I, I do. You, do you want to divorce? Just let's get <laughs> divorced. Let's let let's be done with it. Yes, I know. Go I was on. asking like when you wake up in the afternoon. I was asking also before because I was struggling to sleep. I'm used mm -hmm. to have always a strong objective to wake up for, and I was like. But do you think, wake up, are you, are you happily married to me? I was doing all these things. Crazy, crazy. I think that is really one of the, because I think this is one of the things we started just arguing about mm -hmm. something that didn't even exist. A few days ago, we went to our friends. Yes, we have to meet up with, to, to show, to, to check out uh, an apartment. And then we we're like really discussing about how many couples are probably going to, or how high is going to be the divorce rate. If, not only divorce, also relationship that break up just because you are really, this is stressful. Yes. This is stressful. And it made me think of how many arguments we have been having. The first stage, especially maybe the first two to three weeks, we're yeah. like, really like, 
driving each other crazy. Please don't touch my papers here, although we have to share a working table. The fact is, I work at home and she's not too used to be at home during the day. She used to drive around. So for us, being working in the same environment is, was really challenging. We had arguments for little stupid things like... Uh, please uh, turn down the volume of what you are watching or please don't make noise while yeah, I'm working. Yeah, don't make a telephone call while I'm telephone the call. Other telephone no, call. No, I have to it's telephone call possible. and you know we are living in this small apartment so basically if you have to take a call we even need to go outside in the in the in the building hall because just there is not enough space even if i go in the other rooms they you actually don't have another room we have yeah. one room i mean you can be at the other end but the person can still hear you and a small apartment is so difficult to keep order and if there is no order you get frustrated because you are in this environment that is messy and you can basically just turn around and you see clothes on the ground that is so much so you get peace if something is not in order and that is can be also so yeah one of that is a lot of cleaning then it was also like oh, i don't know it's a mess with the sleeping routine again mm -hmm. who goes to bed when because then maybe the other person want to go back to bed first but the other one wants to watch TV, but you can't keep the lights on, you know, the TV on, or it's... it's, no, it's for me, the, the, the first was not a problem, really. It, I think know. it's a problem. Okay, for me, it's like, you, you can sleep whenever situation. If you want to sleep, you just need... Uh, but for you? For me, I don't... I sleep during the normal hours, like night, it was sleeping, and day, it's for working. Mm -hmm. And then the other problem was to keep order here, it's like, for you to keep order, you shouldn't move. I would say this is the only way. If you open no, your computer, it's, it's, it's not. It's not true. You should be. You should be just organized. Yes. You know. You get to bed. You take your clothes. You fold them. You put it in the drawer. You wake in the drawer, up. But the drawer the is drawer. full of clean things. So why should I put the clothes? That I, I have a compartment for things that I use for house for clothes that I use for house. And then when they are dirty after one, two days, you take them in a machine, get washing up. machine. I, I get what you're saying. And this makes sense. You work from home. So you have kind of a lot of home clothes and you have already a department, mm -hmm. a compartment for that. And for me, I never needed, I would only hmm. come home hmm. in the evening, put on pyjama and I was okay like that. And then I remember one of the main argument was also I didn't have home, like just clothes to wear at home. So I was always wearing your clothes and at some point it was like, it almost exploded. Yeah, my pants are all dead because you're using them and also my pulleys are dead. My t-shirt because <laughs> she doesn't have any... I don't have t-shirt, I don't have pulley, I don't have tracksuit, like things that you usually wear at home. I don't but have you have that. leggings. Yeah, to go to the fitness, obviously. Yeah, yeah well, but that you can also use it though. They are comfortable, come on. But this, you know, after like the dangerous, this like just the boiling stage, yeah, mm -hmm. we got some point where we were like, you know, we have to adapt to the situation, especially when we had after three weeks, you're still going to be home. Like, put something, a strategy in place, what time to wake up, when do we do what. I started also doing, like, my weekly plan, what should I do during the day, which I think that is absolutely That lasted good. probably two hours, and then it was already gone, because there is not really scheduled. Enough, yeah. There's not, like, of course, I... I no, you, you try, like, it's, a, it's an attempt to get organized, but you can't really. Uh, the relaxation part when basically you are getting used to get home to stay together so the argument reduce but you are like kind of depressed because you still like frustrated that you cannot go out so you start doing bad be having bad behaviors like overeating stress eating every five minutes uh, taking some snacks and so on or over napping because uh, uh, you know, I, you don't have much to do, so what I do now, I feel sleepy, okay, let's take 20 minutes nap, let's, and this is a, like, Lempi's problem, she can sleep, uh, she, she can napping two or three times in a day, and I don't like to do that, because when I do that, first of all, I wake up that I'm really feeling kind of dizzy and strange, and secondly, because, I, you know, it's, it's kind of uh, just cut my days in small little days because when I wake up I always go through all the wake up phase when I feel dizzy and so on and I, it's also not really time efficient. Yeah so you know after all you know the first three weeks and stuff when it was everything it was just like a boiling pot and things were going crazy eventually when we realized we have to stay home longer we thought you know 
let's sit down and start you know setting up some principles and rules that works mm -hmm. even if maybe not everything is working you have something in place that just to help keep order so for example i started with my normal work now at least morning time i do a little bit more work and i do also some school after lunch and then a weekly plan although that is no longer a weekly plan that only mm -hmm. involves work it has also a lot of extra things that i should just do around the home but mm -hmm. that works better i would also okay. say the fact that we went back to saying sleeping time should be a little bit just around certain time and some principles also we say it the person who is cooking is not the one cleaning the dishes that's mm -hmm. help like just to have some setting up some rules uh the problem is sticking to it to be honest I don't think that's a problem because eh, 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 eh. <laughs> I don't think that's bad. Mm -hmm. The good thing is that you have a guideline. So when it's not followed, you also know what is broken and you can hold the person responsible. Like, you know, let me look here. You're supposed to. Yeah, oh. but you don't need to dismiss the person if you dismiss no, the person. No, I just apologize that oh, okay. everything... Sorry, baby, excuse me. I forgot that. Okay, fine. Yeah. Now we do a flower. <laughs> oh, be careful because they're dripping water. Yeah. This is actually cute. We got this from Ali. When did you buy them? Friday or mm -hmm. Saturday last? Oh, it was super cute. So, and then there is obviously something that has also been. Let's put it back in the water, otherwise, it's going to die. Carefully. Yes. Something that has also been on the other side. So. Being at home is not bad. Not everything is bad. I would say there's also a whole lot of time for intimacy. And that means we have also thought for a moment, this could be the right time to make Having a mini. A, baby. a mini lumpy. A mini lumpy. Yes, because I'm always thinking of or a daughter. A mini Ale. I, I never think of a mini Ale. I only think of a daughter. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I only think of a daughter. I don't know. I think it's just because my family is full of girls. I only think of it mm -hmm. so I was also thinking this could be the time. But here yeah, could be the time. Oh, we'll say the end because there's a whole lot of also, you know, what do you do now? It's it's after lunch. What do you do now? Mm, taking a nap. I'll just say it's a nap. I can't mention some words on camera. Nap? Like? I would just say it's a nap time. Ah, nap time. Okay. <laughs> nap time. <laughs> it's nap. So there's a whole lot of time for that as well. And it just also, at the end of the day, you feel like, yeah, most of the months in this year are already gone. We might as well mm -hmm. say this year is the time for making... A bubuccino. A bubuccino. Bubuccino. Or twins. Small one. Twins. Oh. Or quadruplets. No, 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 <laughs> no, no. no. <laughs> twins, yeah. Yeah, otherwise, okay, I would say it. after now week six, we are kind of just, quarantine is like the new normal. Yeah. Just kind of used to... The new abnormal, I would call <laughs> no, it. I would say the new normal. Mm. You kind of use, but you're still frustrated. Yes. You can't, you can't... And you also try to picture yourself going back to work and uh, to the normal life, but we don't really know at the moment if... There is going to be a normal life. Probably, there is going to be yeah, no, life. there is going to be a normal life. But I think up to when they will really find a vaccine for this problem, people will be constricted to, I don't know, to to wear masks, for example, or not to go to places where there is a lot of people, and that that is going to still impact your life, even though you will be allowed to to go outside yes. and to work. Yes. But I think for me, the most important thing is just first allow to go outside freely. And maybe just do a little bit of shopping, go buy some some, some finishes for your apartment and stuff that will already lift mm -hmm. a lot of pressure. So we are kind of getting used. So it's our new normal. We wake up. We, we like, I mean, there's no more rush to go anywhere. Even two days ago, we drove to, to our friend's apartment and we were driving like fast in the slowest speed i've ever seen like <laughs> almost a walking speed yeah. there's just no rush to go anywhere anyway guys i just wanted to say spectrum a is here divorce argument and stuff i would say we started here and honestly eventually we are and not all the time there are still days in this week when we are going back to number one <laughs> Okay. Because we're in quarantine, but yeah, that is it. Amazing. That is time yet to do the second thing. Oh, oh no! 
Let me stop. Anyway, guys, if you enjoy this video, give us a like, subscribe to our channel, and most important, leave a comment. We appreciate your support. We appreciate all the comments, especially at the time we read all the comments. And, and I we try, try to, to respond to all the comments at the moment. Okay. Okay. Good to know. Bye-bye.